Hey, this is JC and welcome to Small Brick City where we want to help you build a Lego city regardless of the space you have. In this video, I'll give you an overview of the Hidden Side Shrimp Shack attack, specifically my remark of the set. It's set 70422 and if you want to check out my remark that I did from start to finish, do check out the link in the card above or the description below. What I've done is I've placed the Shrimp Shack, which is the one in the middle, and I've placed it in between two other sets. This is the old fishing store, it's a Lego idea set. And over here we have a 3-in-1 Lego set, this is the Riverside boat, but I've also modified it so it looks a bit more run down, so that it fits the old fishing store, and the Shrimp Shack now fits nicely in between. You can see I've done some detailing for the sea, after all, this is by the sea or maybe it could be by a river. But basically, there's a transition between all three blue base plates so that it looks seamless and everything fits together. I'll show you the stories and the scenes that I've created for this set as well. So let's have a closer view and let's get started. And here's an angled top view of the entire scene. And I just like to call attention to the water effect that I created. I used white plates along with different colored blue plates, along with transparent plates, as well as trans blue towels to create this water effect. This is actually a really simple scene. It's still not highly detailed. Generally, I'll even go more detailed. By this point, I haven't settled uh, the exact position and the layout where I'm gonna place this in my Lego city, but I just did this for demonstration purposes and also just to see how the effect turned out and generally I think it's pretty good you can see this is the old fishing store it's on its own base plate now the original set comes on a tan base plate uh, but when I started building it I knew I wanted to have this set either on or by the water so I actually changed out the light tan base plate for a blue one and that's why I get this effect over here I also raised this up over here so that it can meet the dining area of the shrimp shack. As you can see, everything lines up. And I've got two 1x4 tiles here, and this is so that the door can open up easily. If not, the studs from a plate will be in the way. Uh, just give you a quick look around behind as well. I did minor modifications over this side uh, simply because in a previous scene, I also had this connected to a back jetty that led all the way to my uh, lighthouse. But that's uh, not too critical at the moment. In fact, I'm going to move this fishing store aside. Uh, just remember how that kind of fits together. I'll put that aside for now and we can bring our attention to this side of the display. Now, this is really made out of, I think of three base plates here, but it looks pretty seamless simply because of how everything goes together. So this is one base plate, and that's a 16 by 32 stud base plate. And just the way it's detailed, it matches seamlessly with the shrimp shack. And of course, this base plate over here. So let's have a look at this one. You can see what we have over here is lots of detail as though it's a really rocky surface and that's where the ship or the boat kind of docks. And I've got a little scene going on if I bring this closer. Most of the scene is connected with the shrimp shack but uh, just take note we do have uh, this guy over here and the boat and I'll explain more of this in just a bit. So let's focus on the shrimp shack first. Let me highlight some of the changes I made to the remock and also point out the different minifigs and scenes we have. So I generally kept the essence of the build. Uh, that's my philosophy for all remarks. I do not want to change things as much as I can, uh, but what I did do was really change the front over here to add rocks uh, as well as this uh, looks like a wooden boardwalk uh, that comes over here. And I also changed the position of the tree as well as some of this vegetation uh, so that I could actually place it as a modular set because originally these two were on the other side and they stuck out from the original footprint of the base plate that it was on. I also made this bigger. So this section is bigger and I took out the play feature because this is a hidden side set. There's a play feature where the shrimp shack transforms into a monster. I've taken out that play feature and built everything solid. Uh, for the back, most notably, I have added in 
a wall. So I've got a wall, I've also got some windows and I've got uh, these steel windows so that you can actually see inside as well. Uh, let's not break this apart just yet. And I just wanted to tilt this up so that you can see inside and we've got some chefs or cooks working inside. In the original build, this was open up as an open back design, but I've closed it up. And what I've done is I've made the roof modular in nature, meaning I can actually lift it off. And I'll show that to you in just a while. But let's have a closer look at some of the scenes. Now over here, we seem to have a minifig on the roof for some reason. This is actually Brixtonville. That's right, he is a fellow YouTuber. In fact, he's part of the BrickTubers network and he was kind enough to send me his minifig some time ago. I hadn't had time to put him in my LEGO City because I haven't had a LEGO City update in quite a while. But I thought it would be fitting to put it up here. It looks like he's got a whole string of lights that he's trying to install uh, for the Shrimp Shack. Now uh, that's a bit of an inside joke because Brixenville has a great YouTube channel where he has a wonderful Lego city and one of the really special things about his city is that it's all lit up and it's really beautiful. So kind of a running gag. He's an expert in lighting up Lego cities. So I thought it'd be funny for him to want to light up the shrimp, shrimp shack over here. And let's have a look over here. It seems like we've got a whole bunch of people. Uh, these are really customers and for the, some reason, the Shrimp Shack seems to attract a really young crowd, as you can see. We also have the diner waitress uh, who's about to serve them. And if we come over to the front, uh, we see a guy over here. Maybe he was ordering from uh, the takeout counter or something. Uh, I'll show you the inside in just a bit. But we also seem to have two police officers uh, lurking around the corner. Maybe they want to buy some shrimp. Not too sure. But Terry, let's first have a look inside. I'll take off the roof so that we can see inside the diner. Here's a top view of the shrimp shack. Incidentally, I did take out all the luminous colored parts. Originally, this tooth part was in luminous green. I changed that out for white. And there was also a decorated kind of a round towel in the form of an eye because this was actually a monster. I just changed that out to black. So I removed all traces of the monster from this uh, particular set. And that 3D sign is really something I like about this particular set. As mentioned, I did make this roof modular. I made it bigger as a result of expanding the set to add in the back. Or oh, a minor change I did from the last video was I changed all these bricks to brown so it looks like kind of a wooden frame and i only kept sand green for the sides over here this side and the other side and as a result of expanding the build slightly by two bricks in order to accommodate the back wall i made this roof bigger so this is the uh, not the original roof and i made it modular in nature as you can see so this is all one piece and I retained the red look. Originally, there were red plates and modified plates. So I just changed everything for red towels as well as some jumper plates in red. Uh, and everything just comes off and you can now look inside. And if you see inside, we do have two cooks. And for some reason, they have uh, one very large knife and one chopper. And this is basically the original setup. The only thing I changed uh, would be this thing over here. Originally, there was a barrel that would run all the way up to the roof, which allow you to actually turn. Uh, and there's a little play feature there. So what I've done is to change it uh, so that it looks like a large pot of overflowing, maybe a red soup or something like that. Maybe a tomato soup. Uh, but other than that, everything is exactly the same. Now, I thought that'd be really cool to add some features uh, and storyline to this particular set. After all, it is the hidden side, so I thought there should be something hidden along with it as well. Now, if you have a closer look, everyone seems to be eating here, but no one seems to be eating shrimp. In fact, in the original set, there was no shrimp. And so we've got drinks, we've got a hot dog, we've got a chicken drumstick, but no shrimp, which seems strange for a shrimp shack. And there's actually a reason for that. And there's also a reason why there's this dubious character over here and why the cops are snooping around. 
well, there's a reason why this shrimp shack seems so popular with the youngsters because it doesn't really serve just shrimp. It seems to serve a lot of sugar. And in fact, it's also a distribution point for sugar, uh, which is why we have the boats over here, uh, which helps to transport sugar out. Uh, from the production area over here. I know it sounds confusing, but I can tell you this isn't just a shrimp shack. It is a place to manufacture sugar. So let me get these two guys out. And that's probably why they've drawn their choppers and their knives because they know the cops are around. And let's have a look inside for the first feature. Maybe we can find some hidden items. Now remember I talked about this uh, bowl of soup, a pot of soup, and that's because you can actually turn it. And when you turn it, you actually can see the inside. See that? That rotates. So that looks just like some kind of a, I guess, a grill. Not a grill, but maybe a ventilation for the uh, hot top or stove top. But if you turn it, we see a pack of white sugar. And if we look inside the oven over here, we've got a big pack of sugar. Let's see if we can take that out. Yeah, you can see that. Now that's... Uh, Looks like several kilos of sugar. Bad stuff there. And we come over here where the cops are. Uh, notice this crate. Looks like uh, there's something hidden in plain sight. Now it looks like uh, bottles. So it's a carton filled with bottles. Actually, that's just a fake. See? That's just the fake, uh, fake bottle tops. And we've got a whole bunch of sugar inside as well. And if we come over here. Now there's a reason why... Uh, the kids seem to not be eating shrimp because uh, the barrels they're eating on, each of these barrels also contain something. We've got more sugar packets here. In fact, we can pop this one open. You can see that inside. This one with the can, more sugar packets. And just in case you think that's it, there's actually a secret trap door and we can open it just by lifting this up. And there you can see that's now many more kilos of sugar and lots of money. So maybe the cops will bust this shrimp shack in just a bit. Well, I hope you enjoyed my remark of the Shrimp Shack attack and how I've integrated it with two different LEGO sets as well as created some seamless terrain. Which is the favourite part of the setup or the scene? Please let me know in the comments below. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't, please subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell. Thanks for watching. Check out these two videos before you go.